Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of So Tell Us Time. We are super excited to be here with you and guess what? It is almost Halloween. Holy cow, all the ghouls and goblins are coming out and the witches and the superheroes. Yes, it is almost Halloween. So fun, which also means that we are cruising along towards the end of the year. And what a year it has been. Before you know it, it will be Thanksgiving. Then it will be Christmas and then the new year. Holy cow. And then it's time to prepare for taxes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot coming up. There's a lot going on. And like I said, what a year it has been. So that is what we're actually talking about today. I think this is a very important topic. This is something that should be on your mind to help you out. Because remember, we help thousands of businesses in 33 countries around the world. And I can tell you there is a consensus that this year has been a bit of a struggle in the later months of the year. Now, there's a lot of reasons for that. You can talk about politics. You can talk about the economy. You can talk about, you know, um, instability and people holding on to their money, whatever, however you want to say it and think about it and whatever you want to say. But it is kind of across the board. Everybody feels little tight. Everybody feels a little bit down. Business seems down. Uh, business is down for a lot of companies. So what we're talking about is a way to kind of help boost, get a little boost here uh, in these next few months and take advantage of the season, right? So we're talking about the season of spending, See, normally the end of the year is also where people expect to spend money um, on upgrading. You know, maybe they're getting Christmas gifts. They're getting birthday gifts. You know, for the people at the end of the year, they're getting holiday gifts. Um, they're doing fun activities. And it's the time of the year where they're, you know, preparing their house, making the house nicer. They're getting their carpets cleaned. Maybe they're um, getting that gift of their floors, the garage floors redone, you know, there's a multitude of things that they could be looking at that are in the service industry um, and looking to spend their money there. So we need to take advantage of that. And that is going to be in promotions. <laughs> promotions. So I'm going to let Troy go because I'm going to let him take over because, you know, you know me, I'm going to end up stealing his thunder and talking about all the great things. And he's like, dang it, Trevor, what are we podcast over, dude? So, all right, Troy, take it over. Let's get into it. All right. So like Trevor said, this is the season of spending, right? People are spending money. And the crazy thing is they're spending money they don't even have, right? So <laughs> many people go into credit card debt the last couple of months of the year because they have this attitude of like, it doesn't even matter if I don't have the money. I got to spend it. I got to yep. spend because it's it's the holidays, right? Yep. So what you want to do is you want to tap into that need, you know, to spend. And you want to get those, you know, get that money into your business versus into, you know, them buying other things. So we're going to talk about different promotions. What promotions do you need? Well, we've got a couple of like really easy ones coming up. If you know, we're very close to it, but Halloween's right around the corner. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you're going, man, my October's been kind of bad. What can you do right now to promote, you know, uh, before the end of this month to bring in some more revenue, right? You can do a Halloween special, the Halloween mm -hmm. deal, whatever it is, you know, come up with your creative little things like, you know, these prices are so scary. I can't believe I'm giving them something like that. But <laughs> Come up with some great ideas to promote your business for Halloween. Now, if you're not going to get things done in time for Halloween, we still have Black Friday coming up. Mm -hmm. We have Thanksgiving coming up. And then we have several holidays in December, right? So depending where you are, depending on the clientele that you serve, you know, you're going to, there are several different holidays, you know, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas you know, and then New Year's as well, that all are happening in the month of December. So there's a lot of promotion that can go on during that time. Mm -hmm. Now, so the question is, if there's all these things going on, what should you be offering to your people? Because you got to offer them something that's going to make them say, you know what, that's where I'm going to put my money versus over here during mm -hmm. these next couple of months. So discounts, everybody, we all know it, everybody is looking for a deal during the month of November and December, right? That's the whole point of Black Friday. 
from the consumer's perspective, they're looking for deals that they're not going to get the rest, rest of the year. From a business perspective, they're looking to pump as much money into their fourth quarter as they possibly can. And it works, right? People spend money. And especially if you give them really good deals that they don't want to pass up on. So what kind of discounts can you offer, you know, in regards to one of these deals? Um, another great thing is prepaid services. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What can you do? What services could your clients prepay for, right? This year, that's going to save them money next year, right? Yeah. And especially, you know, if you, if you work B2B, this is a really big place that you can tap into. Of, okay, hey, everybody, you know, and, and we get these all the time from different companies, softwares that we use, different things like that. Yep. They hit you up right at the end of the year. It's like, hey, sign up for an annual plan and get two months free or whatever it might be, right? And so spend some money right now, write it off on your taxes and save money next year. So that is a great strategy, especially if you work in the B2B area, you know, with B2B clients to offer those prepaid services, pay now, write it off on taxes, save next year. Well, know? and Troy, we, we, what's funny is we actually get clients calling us and saying, I'd like to prepay for next year services. And yep. they're not even, and here's the thing is they're not even asking for a discount in doing it. They want that money off in their taxes. So they want to prepay in full for the following year. Yeah. Um, so like definitely this is a really good one, especially like you said, if you work B2B, that's a phenomenal one because people will. And if you do give them like, like you were saying, we get a lot of our softwares that will say like, sign up for an annual plan on this special and you'll get one or two months free or something like that. That's a great way to do it. But honestly, a lot of businesses are just looking for write-offs near the end of the year. Yep. Um, they've been working with their tax guys, right? So Exactly. And if you're prepaid, you know, if you're doing consumers, you can still do prepaid services, right? Yeah, you can yeah. offer them a discount. Maybe it's not for the whole year. Maybe they're not going to sign up for the whole year, but you can offer them a discount for the next three months, right? Pay for the next yeah. three months. If you're or a three rent, services you know, or five services and get a discount for it, you know, that kind of stuff. Exactly. So another one is like buy one, get one free. If you can mm -hmm. incorporate that into your business, that's another great way to do it. And the final one is gift cards with discounts. Mm, and this mm. one is huge. I see people do this all the time. Uh, my sister is a big one on this. There's a couple of restaurants that their family eats at all year long. Yep. And they offer these gift cards with discounts, you know, pay $40 and get a $50 gift card. And she will go out and she will buy enough cards to take care of them for the whole year at that restaurant because she's getting that discount. Yeah. Um, so, you know, think about it with your business. What can you do as far as gift cards with a discount? You know, again, you're just basically saying, Hey, give me a bunch of money right now. And then I'll service you later on in the year. Yeah. And right? we're talking to the degree of like, I've seen, like you said, our sister, our parents, you know, friends and family. I had a friend hit me up and I was like, Hey dude, uh, this restaurant, they're doing like, you know, spend 25, get 25, which is phenomenal. I mean, that's huge. That's a big yeah. one. Um, and they, but, but here's the deal. He's going and he's dropping $1,200 or even $2,000 to get like $4,000. Uh, cause he knows he's going to use it. And he, he even takes his employees and uh, clients out to those restaurants. So he's like, dude, totally worth it. Um, I've seen, again, like we've talked about, you know, our parents, they'll drop uh, three or four hundred, five hundred dollars to get like seven hundred dollars worth. Yeah. Um, but think about that as the business, you know, they're going, it's pretty smart. They're going out there and they're pre gathering that money, um, you know, and then, hey, there's also that loss leader where do people actually use it all or not? <laughs> yeah. So there's always that to, to, to bet on too. They may not consume it all. Exactly. Okay. So now that you've got some ideas of what you should be offering, how should I market it? Well, several different ways. Uh, email is a one way to get it out there, right? Start emailing all of your clients, pushing it out that way. Social media, make sure you're sharing it through your social media sites that you're running these promotions. Um, but the biggest one, and we talked about this last week, text messaging. 
That's <laughs> one of the greatest ways to get out to them and get out to them right now and get their attention immediately. Oh, so, and Troy, we, we yeah. should talk about the controversy that that created. Oh, we, yes. we, on social media, we got a little bit of flack, everybody for talking <laughs> about text messaging, talking to our customers through text messaging. And it was funny because one of the comments was, well, that's a great, yeah. Versus text messaging versus email. Right. And the percentage of open rate versus, you know, engagement and things like that. And the, one of the comments was, oh, that's a great way to, you know, drive your customers away is to text them. And I'm going, uh, yeah, very small context there. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you, you could definitely drive customers away. You really didn't elaborate there very much. Uh, I don't think sending your customer a text or two is going to send them away screaming. Um, but yeah, yeah, there is definitely ways you can piss your customers off and then there's the right way to do it. So just to clarify, we're we're not saying just text people left and right all the time, over bombard them and everything. There is some brains that go behind, you know, the method of what to do. So make sure I will disclaimer, make sure you're making, you know, good decisions when utilizing texting in your business. Yes. And again, like we always say, we suggest multiple channels of communication, mm -hmm. meaning mm -hmm. that they may say, you know, they may reply stop to the text message, but they don't mm -hmm. unsubscribe from your emails. So you continue yeah. to email them those promotions through email. And that's totally fine. Maybe they don't want that text message, but they're going to buy from the email. So don't rely on one communication channel, right? When you can use all of them. Um, yep. Another great one is uh, flyers, you know, getting flyers out during this season is a great way to get your offer in front of people. Um, you know, again, people are right now is the time that they are looking for deals. So they are actually looking at those flyers and seeing what's going on. Right. Um, so they will pay attention more probably now than they do the rest of the year. So definitely if you're doing flyers, now's a good time to get those promotions out on those flyers. Um, then of course, in any other way you communicate with your clients, right? Uh, reach out to them and let them know. Now, when should I start marketing? This is important. So if you're looking at Thanksgiving and Black Friday, you need to start <laughs> marketing at least by November 22nd. Oh yeah. In order to, you know, really get it out there. Right. You don't want to wait till Black Friday day and send your first message to them because they're going to be bombarded with tons of messages. No, you want to get your messages out ahead of time so that they're already thinking in their mind. Yeah, I want to get that deal mm -hmm. and I'm going to take that deal. The other thing you might want to think about is don't make them wait till Black Friday to get the deal. Let them buy yep. early. Right. Capture the money before they spend it on a bunch of other stuff. Well, right, so, so. and I'm going to interject here and say one thing that is just unique to this year, like this November, um, I, I'm going to go back to the comment that that person made on our social media. I will agree with you that maybe you start emailing people November 2nd. Maybe you don't text them until after November 5th. Uh, we've been getting bombarded. <laughs> if you're like us, we've been getting bombarded um, with a lot of text messages that we can't stop because they're all political, right? You can't spam them. You can't stop them. You can't opt out of them. Unfortunately, they are above the law uh, that yeah. the rest of us have to obey. But uh, yeah, so maybe email prior to that and then start after the elections uh, to start texting your people. <laughs> yep, exactly. Now for your December holidays, you're going to want to start, you know, probably in the first or second week of December right? Get those because again, you've got several different holidays scheduled out throughout that month. So go ahead and start getting those offers out there right towards the beginning. Um, because people get really, really busy in the month of December. So, and again, it's going to follow up. It's going to be really important in this time because of how much communication they're getting from everybody out there. So, and then how many times should you contact them? So you should contact them at least three times during the busiest part of that holiday, right? So like in the week of Thanksgiving, you're going to want to hit them three times in that week, you know, uh, for that Black Friday special, uh, for your, you know, your Christmas, your Hanukkah, those ones, you're going to want to hit them multiple times because if one message is going to get lost, 
-hmm. in all of the communication that's going on. So multiple messages, at least three messages is going to, what's going to get you some visibility out there. And a lot, another question we get a lot of times is when should I end my special? And there are a couple of different options on how to do this, right? You can end it on the holiday. Mm -hmm. You can end it, you know, like on the weekend after the holiday, or maybe you end it just a couple of days after the holiday. Our suggestion is probably not ending it on the holiday. People are busy on the holiday. They might forget. And then they go, oh, shoot, I missed that deal. Well, I was going to get it, but it ended today, right? Um, so you want to give them a little bit of grace um, to be able to make that decision and get actually get that transaction done with you. So we always say give them a couple of days after the holiday um to really claim those discounts but again you can also push them to claim those discounts ahead of the holiday get them to buy early when they have the most money yeah pre-halloween right? special pre uh, black friday thanksgiving christmas you know new year yeah. Exactly. Pre-tax <laughs> Pre <-tax> special <laughs> all right i think that's all i've got trevor anything you want to add uh, no, that's pretty good. So I think, uh, you know, and I'll tell you, Troy, when he came up with the, you know, how many times should you contact? It wasn't in response to what that person on social media said. Actually, he didn't, he didn't even know I was going to bring that up today, uh, <laughs> but it did pertain. And so um, I think that's perfect. Three times of communication, because, you know, they say you want to touch somebody with marketing in different ways uh, up to seven times. And so it can take up to seven times for someone to take action. Now, again, when you're talking about these people, um, you've probably and hopefully have communicated with them in some manner prior to this. Like this isn't just a cold call, like, you know, text message campaign or email campaign. Um, you know, these could be existing clients, getting them to buy more packages, getting them to upgrade to a new service or reminding them that you're here. Um, and it could be new people, but again, it should be people who are opting in because they're interested in your services and things like that. So, uh, let's jump into homework and end this bad boy, figure out what your special is going to be. And here's the thing is if you, uh, tell me, I don't do specials. Okay, cool. But if you also tell me, man, the end of this year has been rough, well, then maybe it's time to do something a little bit different, right? Just like a boxer. Sometimes we got a bob, we got a weave, right? Sometimes we jab and then oop, right hook, baby. Um, or in Troy's case, left hook. Yep, that's right. <laughs> this is why Troy and I work so well together. He is left-handed, I'm right-handed. We are like one brain, one full brain, 100% of a brain. <laughs> so watch out. <laughs> Like TNT coming in with dynamite, baby. Okay, so figure out your special, plan your marketing calendar, and then get it all created and ready to go. Because it's it's best to just get it all set up and ready to go. Get it all planned, get it all put together, and then you know put it into um, your system so that you can have this. You you can go and enjoy your holidays, and your automation should be working for you during those holidays right when everybody else is off everybody wants to take time off guess what your website can keep working for you your automation can keep working for you so that's really awesome all right guys well we love you we appreciate you we even appreciate the negative comments or you know whatever you want to call that constructive criticism maybe um we love it all we don't get offended we don't mind and we sure love all the support too you guys are the best and uh happy halloween so have a great and safe halloween don't go into a sugar coma you know maybe hopefully you'll get some sleep that night i don't know your kids might be bouncing off the walls but uh we appreciate you guys and we will check you out on the next episode of so tell us time mm -hmm.